We come from a background where art is not really appreciated as much as in the Western world. Being an African creative is a, is a lot of opportunity, but we also have to deal with a lot of obstacles as well. At the same time, I think we have a really interesting and unique perspective to offer the world, and that for me is, is really exciting. So I'm Jonathan Elom Doche. I am a science fiction writer and Afrofuturist. I run the Afro Cyberpunk blog where I discuss the future of Africa. And um, I'm a virtual experience designer. I create and develop VR experiences. What got me into modern day virtual reality is when I discovered Google Cardboard. And um, I realized how simple it was to actually create the technology once you have a capable smartphone. And I've always been a tinkerer and I like to design and develop gadgets. So as soon as I discovered this, I immediately got to work developing my own and designing my own sort of um, Google Cardboard inspired VR headsets. And one thing I noticed was that um, the technology to view and share VR had actually developed much faster than the technology to create it. So really there were, at the time in which I was getting into VR, there were no real commercial solutions for creating VR for the average person. The closest thing to that was um, the Kodak SP360, which is what I used to create the Pandora short film. Um, so Pandora is a metaphor for um, what I think VR represents. It's a way for me to at once create attention and draw awareness to um, VR and VR in Africa, but at the same time to ask people to think critically about what it means and the power that it's giving us and our responsibilities in terms of how we're going to handle that power. My first real experience of what virtual reality could mean was actually when I was reading a book on virtual reality and I found myself so immersed in this story that I literally totally lost track of my surroundings. And the fact that I was reading a book on virtual reality is what made me draw this association that virtual reality does not necessarily have to be a computer-generated simulation but it can be any form of media and any form of um, virtual world that we can create and whatever means that you use to create that virtual world for me is irrelevant. What is most important is how you achieve that goal of immersion and getting the person immersed into your world. And so this is actually what motivated me to go into writing because I've always thought of writing as a form of virtual reality, as a way I can create worlds, or at least transcribe the worlds that I imagine and share them with other people. 